I'm Alexandra with the Pungyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the third week of July. Google and Kakao's battle over the app marketplace's in-app payment is heating up. As of the first, Google has ceased to provide the latest updated version of Kakao Talk in its app marketplace. This is because Google claims Kakao has violated its in-app payment policy. The issue is that Kakao had been promoting external payment links within the Google App Marketplace, saying, if you click here and pay, you can use emoticon subscription services at low prices. For now, Kakao will continue promoting external payments regardless of Google's measures. The latest Kakao Talk version will be provided through the portal site DOM. According to the IT industry, this is possible only because Kakao is the number one national messenger service and has secured 50 million users. According to an official from Kakao, this was to provide options by informing users of alternative payment methods other than in-app payments. From the first of last month, Google started its policy of compulsory in-app payment, which receives up to 30% of commission fees for in-app payments. Prior to the implementation of Google's policy, from April to May, Companies of the domestic IT industry such as Kakao, Naver, and Wave, and the digital content industry have increased their fees for paid products to match the range of commission fees. NCSoft announced on the 6th that they updated their MMORPG Lineage W with new content made in collaboration with the Japanese manga Berserk. Berserk by Kentaro Miura, who passed away last year, is considered one of the representative works of dark fantasy, a genre that features swords, magic, and demons. NCSoft has updated the dimensional gap where gamers can enjoy Berserk's storyline in Lineage W. They also updated major characters such as Guts and Puck with transformations and magic features. Import Genius announced on the 5th that they are providing the newest export data from 18 countries for free, to domestic companies in order to minimize the damage from market changes in the global supply network. Import Genius is planning to provide the newest custom export data of 18 countries around the world for free to the Korean market. The data includes the products, importers, amount, and date of sale for each country's exporting company. By utilizing this data, domestic companies can discover supplying companies from many different countries and diversify their supply network by seeking cooperation. Changes in the volume can be tracked through the transaction relationship diagram between companies based on the latest data analysis and the company can design their own suitable scenario and prepare measurements to minimize risks. CEO of Import Genius Korea, Jiwon Cho said, we are planning to extract and provide customized data to companies that need data. In order to maintain the fairness of benefits, all extracted data will be disclosed on the website. Hanwha Aerospace announced on the 5th that they held an agreement ceremony for aerospace mentoring, Would You Like to Space? As a social contribution project, Hanwha Aerospace has been working with the Kids and Future Foundation, a social welfare corporation, to plan this social contribution project to raise students' interest in the field of aerospace machinery and to provide opportunities for career exploration. In this aerospace mentoring project, 18 selected college students majoring in fields related to aerospace from all over the country will provide aerospace maker education and career mentoring to 150 middle school students from six middle schools and science clubs and in their exploration semester near Hanhua Aerospace's offices across the country, including in Pangyo, Asan, and Changwon. President of Hanhua Aerospace Hyunwoo Shin said, it will be a good opportunity for middle school students who are in the first stage of career exploration and decision making to realize their dreams of a future promising industry in the aerospace field. I hope that college students will gain great experience in the aerospace industry and that this will be great help in deciding their future career path. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. Smilegate Hope Studio announced on the 5th that they have opened recruitment for the third SGM, Smilegate membership, social participation until the 20th. The third SGM social participation 
is recruiting university students who are good with kids and teenagers and have an interest in being and creative skills as mentors so they can participate in Palette, a youth creative community operated by Hope Studio. NHN Dure is expanding its customer base to the media industry by providing all-in-one collaboration solutions to the financial information specialized media company, Yonhap Infomax, led by CEO Kisok Choi. Yonhap Infomax noted that they decided to work with Dure for three main reasons, service and security stability, scalability, and quick onboarding training and service responsiveness. Naver Webtoon announced on the 6th that they signed a business agreement with the Literature Translation Institute of Korea under the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism to support overseas expansion of domestic content. That's it for the Pungyo Techno Valley Weekly News. I'm Alexandra, and I'll see you next week.